What's up, Gundam Kitchen fans? We got a Gamer's Delight today. Bunch of gaming stuff came in. So, starting with the new releases, we got Marvel Crisis Protocol. We got Deadpool with uh, Hydra Bob. We got Luke Cage and Iron Fist and Cable and Domino. So, this one... I hate how they photographed it because I've seen other pictures where this flying punch doesn't look so weird. Because to me it was like he's just like flying through the air in Indian style. But I do like how Luke Cage has uh, just a mean ass look on, going on there. And uh, yeah, I gotta see this one built. I want to see if you can, if it looks better, or maybe if you change the angle that he's posed, you can get him to look a little cooler coming through the air. Then I think this. This set right here has some of the best poses and effects going on because Domino getting blown up and riding a piece of concrete makes complete sense, especially how she was in the movie. Um, we don't remember her that much from the comics, but apparently her ability is really good luck or probability. And then Cable, this effect is really cool. I think it would have been nice if they made that clear so if you don't know how to paint really well, you still get a nice effect, but that's not too hard to pull off. And decent pose for him. Gun is huge, of course, because he always is carrying some ridiculous sized guns. And oh, he even has a gun on the back, or is that the same gun? Oh, so you can do him with or without the cloak. So alternate, no cloak, which is kind of nice. So however you feel. And then talking about different variants and alterations. This one has them all. So as you can see on the box art, Cable looks very silly. You got this whoosh coming here. He's kind of like laid back on, or I don't know, almost a ballet type of move through the air. So if you like your Deadpool a little more serious, right here you can see his leg seems to be pushed forward a little bit so he doesn't have such a clumsy look to him. And he's just like riding across or riding on this missile instead of like skipping along it. So that's cool. And Hydra Bob has an alternate head with the chef's hat. And then Deadpool has three alternate heads that can easily peg in and out so you don't have to magnetize them or anything. I mean, if I were going to do this silly version here, I'd probably do the hearts and the eyes too. But I personally, if I get this one... I think I'm gonna do something totally different with it so and then you got the truck which is pretty cool terrain and the truck is I really like how this artist did this light effect here like that regular incandescent light look very nice and I mean there's a lot of work right there putting all that writing all that stuff on there very cool artwork on that one's excellent all right what else we got all my D&D &D books falling over. That's what we got. So, yes, obviously we got a ton of D&D &D and a bunch of books. We got a couple of the uh, screens for the Game Masters. We got uh, a ton of books here. I'm not a big D&D &D guy, so that's why books like these Young Adventurer books are actually good for me because I need to catch up. Never played. But these books here, I've talked about these before, but this is the newest one, Beasts and Behemoths. Uh, they give you a very simplistic view at like a 5th or 6th grade reading level, but doesn't mean it's for kids. This is very simple to understand and read and quick. Uh, view on different, you know, classes, beasts, monsters, how dungeons work, things you'll find in a dungeon. So really good. Another great thing if you're starting out, of course, like an essentials kit like that will get you started really easily has a lot of things you need. I believe this is the one that has, it might even have a uh, six blank character sheet. So yeah, it helps you create characters and all that good stuff. So that's good. And then for you more experienced people, obviously we have all the books. They give you all the different scenarios and stuff like that. So you'd be really good. And then just for fun, the cookbook, why not? So beautiful art, very rustic looking in here of all those different things you might read about in fantasy or especially in D&D &D books of the food. 
and obviously there's no like dragon meat we can eat but we got dragon salmon and we got good amount of uh, sleeves here these are particularly for Marvel Champions so you got the Spider-Man logo if you're on a Spider-Man deck uh, just a normal generic one there got some mini sleeves Rise of the Red Skull really good one and oh we forgot about this one this is another new thing so this is an OP organized play most of them have been good so far I think they've had three and they've all been really fun so this will be the newest one don't know much about it or how many players but obviously Magneto is going to be one of the players has a ton of abilities on his card and looks like we're dealing with a nuke so that's going to be fun <laughs> and now with Deadpool and Cable and Domino we've expanded our immune range so we got Wolverine, Cyclops, Sabretooth, uh, Quicksilver, Wanda if you're going to count her as a mutant which I think you should so we got a good amount of mutants it might be one or two more oh Storm so yeah, it's a good amount of mutants out there. Beast. All right, and then one game that's new to us, I think came out in 2018, but weirdly enough, it takes place in the futuristic place of 2009 Cyberpunk Gang Warfare for area control. So if you like area control games and you want something bright on the table, this is the way to go. A little bit of fighting over turf and different abilities, but basically it's a turf battle. For two to four players, take 60 minutes to two hours. And it looks really interesting and really bright. That's all we got. So hoping to get some Gundams in tomorrow. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.